Was, and I'm 14 years old. I'm one of the injured students of Army Public School, Peshawar, Pakistan. I have lost one of my younger brother and many friends in Army Public School, Peshawar incident, which took place on 16 December 2014. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and honor to speak here. Today, I want to share the biggest and the most horrific experience of my life through which I had gone in that incident. On the morning of 16 December, I woke up and woke my brother, Haris Nawal, to get ready for the school. That morning, Haris did not want it to go to school because our mom was not there. She had gone to Swat for my great grandfather's funeral. I called my dad and told him that Haris did not want it to go to school and that forced him to get ready. We left for school in the school bus. Haris was still upset and angry about going to school. On reaching school, we were early. We played for a while and then went to our classroom. After the third lesson, the head teacher's PA came and asked us to go to the auditorium for the first aid training by our doctor. As the doctor started his training, we heard some strange sounds like gunfire, but the teacher was not worried and assured us that all was okay. Then suddenly the doors opened and all we heard and saw were some people firing. Some children started running out of the auditorium whilst of us got under the chair to hide from firing. After a little while, there was silence. Then I heard one of the gunmen saying to the other that the children are hiding under the chair. Then they started shooting children one by one at their head. There was a boy next to me and suddenly he was covered with blood when they fired at his head. When I realized that I was the next, I suddenly moved my head under the chair to hide from firing. As they fired, it was a deafening sound and a bullet went through my arm. After some time, the auditorium went silent again. My left arm was bleeding, my shirt was red and I was in worst pain. I saw one of my friends running towards the dressing room by the stage and I followed him. There were many dead and injured students in that dressing room. I lay there as well, waiting for someone to help us. After a little while, I heard some sounds, I heard some voices. I were, I was, we were happy till we realized that they were the terrorists. They started firing at the children they thought were alive. I pretended to be dead by keeping very still. I saw three injured students being shot. Then they left the room. It was a burning heart in the room as they, fired, as they put fire on the room. There was a boy crying. I tried to stop him from crying because I was scared that the terrorists would come back and would kill us. I could hear bomb blast and firing and then loud voices. We were scared that the gunmen were back, but then we realized that they were the rescuers, the army soldiers. They picked me up and threw me to the ambulance. They were throwing dead and injured students in the same ambulance. Then we reached the hospital and I saw very badly injured children, some of them without heads and some of them without necks and everything. They were very badly injured. It was, a, it was a horrible scene and I asked someone if I could use their mobile and I called my father. Soon my family were all at the hospital. I was taken to the operation theater. When I came from the operating room, only a few of my cousins were there. I asked for my parents, but they would not tell me where they were. The next morning, I saw my parents and they looked very sad. I asked about my brother, Haris Nawaz, 
and they told me that he was in another hospital. After 15 days, I, I found out from my friend that Haris Nawaz was dead. I was very sad and kept crying for my brother. I was in hospital for two months because my, heart and my hand was badly injured. My father appealed to the government and they sent us here to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham, for treatment. I was in hospital for two months in Pakistan and one month here in Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I was very fed up of the hospital environment and really wanted to go out. Now I'm very thankful to the hospital in Pakistan and Queen Elizabeth Hospital for all their care. I miss my brother and my friends, but they lost their lives for our country and education, therefore I'm proud of them. Whenever I feel pain and see my injured hand, I'm proud of what I have sacrificed. My survival in this massacre is America. This is my second life and I have pledged to continue my own education and work for the education. Because I strongly believe that education is our right. And last, I'm very thankful to all of you for listening to me. And special thanks to the Honorable Chief Guest, Uncle Lord Nazir Ahmed, and CDRS team for organizing this event. Thank you so much.